It's more important than ever for us to realize that a lot of these algorithms are constantly learning from us, from our private data. When you browse Instagram, when you browse Netflix, when you use any of these tools that are AI enabled in the background, they're collecting information about you. The ethical concerns with AI and data are many. To begin, the biggest problem with AI and data is, and this is a problem with any kind of data collection in general, it's the idea of bias. When you collect data, you are collecting a sample, and that sample is not always necessarily representative of the whole, right? Because you're only getting a certain amount of data about the thing that you're collecting data on. And that has a tendency to create bias. A really good example of this is Tesla, actually. When they first were rolling out their driverless cars, the algorithms that are used to train the cars in terms of how to move about and what to do in certain situations, especially when it came to pedestrians and things like that, actually had a bias in that data. And it made it so that the machine was more likely to make mistakes against a certain ethnic group versus another. And it was kind of a huge problem. So this is when we talk about the ethics and the aspect of, of how important bias in data is. We're talking exactly about that. Or if if you're, for example, using AI algorithms to screen for cancer, um, skin cancer in patients, if you don't feed that algorithm with data that is representative of so many different skin tones and, and races, you're more likely to create false positives for a certain group of people. And this, of course, makes it so that the machine, the algorithm, through no fault of its own, ends up making bad uh, decisions, bad predictions, bad analysis. So this is one aspect of the importance of data and why ethics and, and, and data representation and why we actually, you know, this is what keeps a lot of developers, AI developers up at night, is ensuring that the data they're using to train these models isn't biased in a way that's going to create catastrophe and create problems. That's one way that data is hugely important and, and sourcing good data and making sure that you don't have bias in your data and proper weighting speaks to why data is, is very, very important, the kind of data that you use is very important for the efficacy of an AI model. Another aspect of data, of course, is where it came from. So models like ChatGPT were trained on a lot of public data, but they were also trained on data that might not have exactly been part of the public domain. For example, a classic example of this is how ChatGPT was actually trained on the books of George R. R. Martin, the author of the popular Game of Thrones book series. And as such, now if you ask ChatGPT to write a story in the style of George R. R. Martin, it can do a pretty good job. There are, this I believe is probably still in, in courts now in terms of, well, did they have the right to train their model on, you know, this author's books? So the idea of where the data came from is actually a, a huge concern. And this is where, when we talk about the privacy of data, it's more important than ever for us to realize that a lot of these algorithms are constantly learning from us, from our private data. When you browse Instagram, when you browse Netflix, when you use any of these tools that are AI enabled in the background, they're collecting information about you. Even LinkedIn at one point had a tick of a box in one of the settings that was ticked on by default, actually, that basically said that when you upload content, when you post content to LinkedIn, that they have the right to use that content to train their AI models. So your data that you you created, the content that you put out there, that's data, that's, that's you, was being used to train that model and you can opt out of it. But when we talk about where the data came from, this is another aspect where the ethics aspect of this is becomes very, very important because where you're getting your data, did you, you know, and, and how private is that data? And of course, we have regulations for this, you know, HIPAA and, and NIST and these kinds of regulations really kind of ensure that private data needs to be private. And if they're going to train a model on it, you should know that your data is being used to train a model. And we ourselves should be more mindful of as we use these services, what kind of data we are feeding uh, them as well. I'm not saying don't, don't check off boxes and, and you know, turn down EULAs and what have you because of that. Just be mindful of the fact that a lot of these services that you're using every day are being trained on your data, on, on your details, on your usage history. And that's another aspect of, of, uh, of data privacy and ethics that we need to be aware of. The privacy concerns that businesses need to be aware of when using AI is if they're going to use autonomous systems, AI systems, they need to be aware of how the data is being used and what kind of data is being collected. So within an organization, you're going to have your own employees 
you're going to have customers. And all of that data is going to be used uh, to train AI models, whether it's internal or so the outward facing, external customer facing potential products and services that you're selling. All of that is going to be able to collect data from your customers, from your employees and how you use that data. That's going to need to be very well defined within an organization so that you can avoid potential privacy concerns. You don't want AI models to also learn things about people that you don't want the models to learn things about, that you don't have the right to have that data. And this is when we talk about privacy statements and such, we are really talking about ensuring that we know what data is being collected, we know what data is being used and how it's being used. And that's, that's what companies need to be aware of more than anything nowadays. So in order to protect personal data while feeding AI models, there there's an aspect of knowing what is important. And what I mean by that is organizations need to be aware that they only should collect the kind of data that that is needed for the purpose. And so that the purpose needs to be defined. So collecting data just for the sake of, of having all that data and then being able to, to run algorithms on it, this is when we talk about unethical territory. Because what's your purpose? Why are you collecting that data? If you're a health informatics company, if you're a health company, you are collecting a specific set of data from your customers to do a specific task. If you collect data from customers and then you find that algorithms are using the data they're collecting from customers to figure out how to sell them on certain things better, you know whether that was an intended consequence or not, that's a bad use of the data. And so you want to have a definition of what data you're collecting and why. And this all needs to be spelled out as part of the strategy of what the product is doing, because otherwise you're going to get into hot water. You could find yourself in a situation kind of like we've. Uh, th there was a company, famous company back in the day called Cambridge Analytica that got in a lot of trouble because uh, it was found out that they were using customer data, people like you and I, and it was taking all of that data from customers in order to figure out how to best get election results to be in a particular candidate's favor. And that was, of course, uh, a hugely unethical use of it. And uh, it, it was a huge problem. And they, they, you know, they were in the courts for it. You don't want to be that company that you find out that you're collecting data and then using it unethically. So have a defined scope of what you're collecting that data for, ensure that you're that it's it's for a proper purpose, and then make sure that the data that you collect is not biased, so it's good data, it's well it's well sourced, and then make sure that it's used in a proper manner.